Hey guys, welcome back to Furniture Treasure Hunting with Sponge. Hello, I'm Sponge. Uh, we are in Everett, Washington today. Uh, for those of you that have been watching, uh, if you've subscribed, watched some of my other videos, I want to say thank you right out of the gate. I also want to apologize uh, for not uploading any videos recently. So it's been a, kind of a dry spell. Uh, I actually took a trip all the way down to southern california and back and i hit i must have hit up 10 to 15 different thrift stores and didn't find anything good uh until the tail end of it uh, which i posted a couple videos uh, you know those are my last videos and then, and then once i got back up to washington uh same thing i've been going into the thrift stores uh, not not a lot of furniture and most of it's being taken up with uh halloween uh, so I guess it's that time of the year. I, I, I would also think that a lot of people are, you know, not doing garage sales anymore because our weather has turned a bit. But, uh, uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm not sure what's going on. But we are here at Value Village in Everett today. Uh, we are going to take a chance, uh, go in and see if we can find anything good. Uh, if I do, then you'll see this video posted. If I don't, uh, we will move on to another video at another time. So... Uh, let's take a look around. It's it's actually not a bad day. It started off really cloudy and overcast. You can see we've got a lot of clouds still out in the distance, but there's some blue sky poking up. Hot. It's not really cold. It's probably uh, it's probably in the mid 60s, so it's really nice out still. It's just you know the common overcast that we get here. So do me a favor if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you enjoy this video or if you've enjoyed some of my others, I'd love for you to keep tuning in and uh, see some other videos that we might be able to put together for you. So, uh, Like usual, I'm going to keep the camera low just to be respectful to people. And we'll see if we can get away from any copyrighted music as we go in. That's one thing I notice is uh, a lot of our... There you go. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Have a great day. A lot of our thrift stores around here like to play uh, music really loud for some reason. But uh, well, let's take a peek what we got here. This place usually has a, a really nice selection of furniture. Obviously some stuff sold. That's a newer, it's a nice ottoman. A thick tweed. Just to show you the price, $20.99, so nothing vintage or antique, but really a nice ottoman, reasonably priced. Recliners, these are kind of cool. What are these? So these look like maybe Pottery Barn, not super old. Let's flip them over and see. Sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm wrong. Oh, I was close. Pier 1 Imports. Not Pottery Barn, but Pier 1. Usually get nice stuff from there. I'm only seeing two chairs. $11.99 each. A couple scratches on them, but they kind of have a distressed look anyway, so it's really not that offsetting. Oh, here's a neat little vintage table. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's got that mid-century gold leg. Quite a bit of damage across the along the edges. It's not a Formica. It's actually a wood finish, and then it's whitewashed. Let's look at the price over there. $25.99. Oh, that's cool. I want to get a better picture of this. Let's see if we... Oh, look at that. It is stamped. Oh, let's see if we can get it. To... It's a lane. So, I always get confused about these serial numbers, but to the best of my knowledge, the date is in here, but I was always told it was backwards. 
So 56 is, so it'd be like 0804, so that would be the 8th of April of 56. Now, I'm not sure about that because I've heard it both ways. Uh, I've even heard people say that it doesn't mean anything, but uh, who knows? I don't know. Let's drop this back down. I want to get a better look at this. This is really, really a cool table. We'll give you guys a, a view from a distance here. Look at that. That is super sweet. I like the offset shelf underneath. Do you see another scratch or something? Oh, they're pen marks. It does have some black pen marks on it. Some of that would clean up, some of it won't. But still, what a neat period piece. I like that, guys, I really do. All right, let's keep walking, see what else we can find here. Oh, here's a neat chair. This would have looked great in my in my dad's Colorado cabin. He used to, well, I call it a cabin, but the place was like 4,400 square foot house with a six car garage. He, he lived there until he passed away two years ago. What a neat chair. Look at the price on that, $15.99. And yeah, yeah, it appears the, the cushions are reversible, so you can flip it around. There you go. Flip it around and get a totally different look. One side being the green and red plaid and the other side just being more of a a red and gold farmhouse plaid. Now I don't know anything about this. I don't recognize the con Oh wow, look at that. The underside has this cool metal spring. And I'm not seeing any markings at all on it. So I don't know what to tell you on this one. If you guys if you guys know what this is. Do me a favor, leave a leave a comment in the comments section. Let me know what you guys know about this. Definitely is old. If you actually look in, it's missing one of the wood buttons. You can see the pan head screw in there. Let's take a look at the back of it. Yeah, neat chair, really neat chair. And honestly, uh. I think that price is, is more than reasonable for somebody. You don't, wouldn't even need to restore this. This could be used as is. Got a nice love seat here. Obviously not vintage or anything, but I can tell you already that's definitely high quality. It's that thick old corduroy. This is probably a Thomasville or a Broyhill or... Let's take a look. Oh, that was close. Bassett. So in that same ballpark, 50 bucks, $49.99. Not seeing anything else good back in here. So let's keep walking. Kind of walked past this, this is neat. It's like a little storage bench. Maybe for a kid's room, like a little toy box. They got this one priced up, $25.99 for that little thing. but. Solid wood, newer. All right, let's keep looking. We got white clad. If you guys aren't familiar with this, this is a kind of a neat product. The older stuff is made out of solid wood, usually oak. Yeah, solid oak here. It's made to emulate an old freezer, like the old ice boxes. Many times, so this is a bedside table. And just to show you, the price is $25.99. Many times they would have a um, kind of a Lazy Susan style top on them for TVs. That was a pretty common one that was sold, but 
This one is just a bedside table. There may be a second one, a, a left and a right, so there may be another one around here somewhere. Got a giant bird cage for you guys who love your parrots. Ooh, look at this neat piece. So we've got a solid oak, it looks. It's a display table, like a, a corner table. Price on that's $15.99. Glass looks to be all intact. I don't see any markings on it. And I'm slightly hesitant to flip it over to look. I just don't want to take a chance of breaking any of the glass. But what a beautiful little corner piece. It looks a little dry. You can see there's a little bit of a uh, little bit of finished delamination on top here, but uh, just a little bit of oil would make that real nice. You probably wouldn't even notice it. That would be great for somebody to put in the corner of their room and dual purpose. You can put a plant on top or put cups, you know, your, your, your drinks on top, but also have a place to display some stuff in there, like maybe your um, wedding bouquet or something like that. Let's keep walking here. I'm gonna try my best not to be too, to move around too much for you guys. It's a nice, nice little table. Kind of a fake finish on it, unfortunately, but. Sorry about that dinging noise, guys. That's the, that's people donating more good stuff, so. So we got a little case here that's not vintage. That's actually not even real wood. I can tell just by this. That's just particle board with a sticker on it. That's a nice piece though, and it might be a, $69.99. Definitely has some damage on top. I'm, this might be a sewing machine or something. Let's take a closer look at it. Maybe. Oh, nice. It's not. It is a, it's just a nice cabinet. Kind of made to look. It's kind of neat. Oh my gosh, that wood is just gorgeous in here. Look at that. That's cedar. Beautiful, beautiful construction on it. Now you guys obviously are just watching this, but this actually doesn't smell very good. I'm not sure why. Maybe, maybe it's been subjected to some moisture or something, but Ruse Sweetheart Cedar Chest. That's interesting. That's definitely a different turn on your classic cedar chest. You know, normally you've got those cedar chests that go down at the foot of your bed. This one's a cabinet. It's quite attractive when it's all closed up. It definitely has some damage, you can look. It's got quite a bit of wear on it, but you know what, it's not too far gone. If somebody was looking to restore something, uh, if anything, I would be slightly concerned about the smell. Let's keep walking, guys. Okay, here's another nice piece. So this is, looks like solid maple, solid hard rock maple, bedside table or nightstand, probably from the 60s or 70s, based on the design, kind of that older colonial. This is probably like a, a S. Bent and Sons kind of manufacturer. I'm trying to think of Flint. There's a manufacturer called Flint or something like that. Oh, okay. So we've opened it up and it is Beals, uh, Portland, Maine. Beautiful construction. Dovetailed, finished all the way through. I'm trying to remember the Beals. It's, it's a guy's name. It, used, it started off with a guy's name and then it got condensed down to just Beals uh, either later or before, I'm not sure. $15.99, that's actually a really beautiful piece. It does have some paper that has 
gotten stuck. Somebody spilled something sticky and it stuck. But that's actually a pretty fairly easy repair as long as no damage was done underneath. Uh, you could apply some orange oil or lemon oil to that, let it sit for a little bit, and that'll just come right off of there. Um, and as long as there's no damage underneath it, you could bring that right back to a, a perfect finish again. Let's keep walking. Nice little maple desk, or actually, no, never mind. It's this is a cheaper, this is a cheaper desk. I mean, it's still good quality stuff from probably from the 70s or 80s, but it's really rough on the edges. Okay, here's another white clad, and if you recall, just a little while ago, I was telling you about the Lazy Susan style top. This is what I'm talking about. Now it's the same manufacturer. This one's solid wood. In the later years, they started using particle board, but the top there, oh, let me see, $49.99. So the top was used for your older tube television. That way it would spin around. Let's keep looking. Some newer, oh, this is cool. Look at this old thing. Book keeping cash register, Dalton, $139.99. A neat piece. And then it's got like a little. Oh, you even get a free register tape in there. Definitely got a lot of veneer issues on it. But it actually has a locked box. And now it's it's not attached to the thing underneath. The thing underneath is a newer, cheaper. What a neat what a neat old machine. Now this is definitely something I do not know anything about, guys. There's a whole nother following on these things, and I don't even know if that price is right or, or, or you know, reasonable or relative to that market. But again, if you know anything about these, leave a comment in the comment section, please. There's probably a whole nother YouTube video that, uh, or a YouTuber that covers stuff like that. The nice tall chest of drawers. It's six drawers. It looks to be got yeah, solid pine, European glides. Just you know, not the best construction, but but up against construction. But for a kid's room, this is a nice piece. Again, you could just quickly oil that, and that would be a great piece for a kid's room. Oh, pretty durable. It's going to take a lot to tear that up. Eighty bucks. Not much down this way unless you like Christmas trees. So let's move on to the other side over here. And a cute little table here. Sadly, it has horrible damage to the top. Oh my gosh. Somebody must have put something really wet and hot on top of it. So the veneers are just completely shot on it. They're still looking for 10 bucks on that one, but that would be hard to come back from, guys. Okay, here's another, here's another white clad. A lot of white clad stuff here today. This one's $34.99. It's got a kind of a slide out. Maybe a keyboard holder. I'd hate to say that's a cutting board. So you can see the white clad construction again. European glides. They're using plywood on the inside. Not dovetailed, just butt. But it is, the outside's all solid oak. We've got that same, you know, icebox style latching system on it. And then the white clad logo. These were really big in the 80s, I'd say. And, you know, I don't even know if the company's still around. I've sold dozens and dozens of these, and they do have quite a following on them. But uh, that one looks like it's just missing the knob. Quick little oil to the top, and you would be back in business on this one here. So, reasonably priced on that one, too, in my opinion. Got a few chairs up there. I'm not seeing anything fabulous. 
Now here we've got our typical bedroom TV armoire. Now I can tell already by the way the doors are here. So let's look at the price real quick, $49.99. Uh, the way the doors, these are going to most likely swing out and then slide back. Let's see if I'm right. Ding, 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 I am right. So these doors would then slide back in and make way for the old tube TV right there. And you got your VCR, your DVD player underneath. Now, I like to retrofit these things and repurpose them. Unfortunately, the way the doors open and the way the doors slide back and hinge, or not in that order, but it makes it very difficult to repurpose these. You have to, you have to actually rebuild the, the, the hinge system on it. And then on top of that, you have to remove a lot of the stuff in here. They even have the power cord. You've got these roller bearing style. You gotta remove all that. If you can remove all that and put a better hinge system here, you can run a pole across or maybe put one or two shelves in these. And these usually make really good pieces of furniture that can be used in, in your home today. Now I don't see a manufacturer. Again, I'm gonna guess this is probably Thomasville. Ah, here we go. I found it. It's actually a hooker, which is a, a very, very high-end brand. I don't know what the construction of the, the body of it is. It looks like the fronts are solid wood and finished, um, but it may actually have particle board on the inside. You don't know until you start. Well, we could probably go around the back, but, but 50 bucks for something. You know, nice piece of furniture to repurpose. Not bad. Here's a neat radio, guys. I don't know if I can back up far enough to get it in. There we go. 20 bucks. It's missing a knob. Missing a knob or a button here. It still scrolls through the channels. I put my glasses on and see if I can read what is it heterodyne or keterodyne super heterodyne 11 super heterodyne 11 I don't again this is kind of outside my wheelhouse but really a nice piece of furniture I don't I'm not seeing any major damage that's super unsightly. You've got a little, there's a little chip right there on the edge. A couple little, no, that would come off there. A little bit of delamming and scratches on the top. But really a nice piece. And, and to be honest, for 20 bucks, to put that in your house and put it in a corner, even if it didn't work, it would really make a nice display piece. I don't know truly what you would use it for, but, uh, you know, just a neat piece of history. So this is a, a lower quality, I can tell, without even getting close. Now this is nice. This is a small, slender, tall chest of drawers. Some would call it a lingerie chest. $25.99. Looks to be really good quality. It's solid wood drawer construction I can't tell but it looks like it's dovetailed in the back oh there we go it's a Broyhill they just have the they have the top drawer down one by accident so that would you'd want to move that up to the top looks like wood on wood drawer glides let's go underneath here oh no now it's my least favorite it's metal on wood so this is this is probably 80s maybe 90s Broyhill uh, it would have been better if it was wood on wood in the drawer glides. And the finish is a little fake. It's, uh, let's turn this around. Oh yeah, see, there we go. So if you look at the construction here, we've got, we've got solid wood, but it's not solid all the way through. It's, it's wood, and then you've got, at a 90 degree angle, wood, and you probably have particle board underneath this Formica style top on it, which is in decent condition. 
Then your uprights are particle board. You can see right there. And then they have a wood veneer on the outside. Uh, might be real, may not be. And then again, the wood on the bottom. And then the finish is usually more of a screen printed on finish. We would have to look a little bit closer. But yes, it looks to be screen printed on because the grains are going the wrong way. But uh, but still not a decent piece of furniture. This is one of those things, you know, people think of Roy Hill and Thomasville and, and some of those brands to be very high quality. And I actually consider them mid quality. Uh, I find that you get better, better furniture out of some smaller, uh, usually from the East Coast brands. This looks to be a homemade wood, plywood bookcase, done nicely. This is cheaper, this is new stuff, probably coaster. This is the stuff to stay away from, really. It's, um, River's Edge, River's Edge Furniture Company. Drawers done, that's it, that's as far out as that drawer will open. And I would venture to say, without digging too deep, this is probably paper. Yep, I can see it right here. So this is actually high density MDF with a fake finish on the, on it. And this is the type of stuff you get at Costco. You know, this is this is the furniture that people are buying today. Really disappointed in my opinion, but another cheap looks to be like a coffee table or maybe a TV console. Well, that looks like it's going to be it, guys. A couple treasures here. Uh, sadly, I'd say the two coolest treasures are things that uh, I'm not familiar with. That uh, that radio right there, and then that the, the um, I don't know if this is a cash register or maybe some sort of a, a stenograph. It's just, well, it's a bookkeeping cash register, but maybe that is a cash drawer. Who knows? But pretty cool. I think my favorite thing, we've got the white clad. I think my favorite thing is that coffee table that we looked at first. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this video. I'm excited to uh, have found a few things. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, do me a favor and uh, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, definitely hit that like button. And please, I love hearing from you guys. So leave a comment. All right, guys. We will see you on the next one.